Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be testing out one dollar makeup. Super, super affordable and it's not even from the dollar store. It's not. It's from this store online called shopmissa.com. You guys let me know about this site and when I went on there and saw how much was available for only a dollar, I was so shocked and so intrigued. Like I have to know, is it actually good makeup or is it all, you know, crap. So obviously I had to buy a ton of it. Oh, it all fell. It all fell. But that whole box is full, so you guys get the point. Hopefully some of these products come through for me, but I don't really have high hopes because, come on guys, like it's a dollar. You know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge them by the price tag just yet. Before we start the video, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below and turn my notifications on and like the video and all that because that will make you part of my S club and I really want you to be part of my S club. Without further ado, let's start testing out this affordable makeup because we all need to know if we can start paying only a dollar for our makeup, right? I also grabbed a bunch of their brushes to see how good they are for a dollar. There are like 24 brushes in here, so I'm pretty sure that's the amount I paid for them. And I think this was the only thing that came in like a set like that. Everything else is just one product for one dollar. But they do have makeup brush sets, so I grabbed one. This one has an assortment of face brushes, eye brushes. I'm hoping that it has everything that we need to create a full face look, but I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna start with priming my face. I grabbed their Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. They had quite a few options for primers, but I just randomly picked this one. It's mattifying, I have oily skin. I thought this would be the best one to try out. Little goes a long way and it got matte really quickly. It definitely got a lot thicker as I was rubbing it in. Here on my hand, it feels super lightweight and like creamy, but then you start rubbing it in and it starts to change consistency and get a lot thicker and you definitely feel it's like mattifying powers. We'll really see how the primer helps when we apply the foundation on top and see how it applies. Next up, they did have a color correcting wheel. I was very surprised to see this because this is like kind of advanced makeup, you know, but they have one for a dollar, so we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna use one of the brushes for my little set. I'm gonna go in with the green to try and correct those dark spots where I've had acne. So far, it feels okay. It's very creamy, so it's blending out okay. I'm gonna mix the orange with the yellow shade to color correct the darkness underneath my eyes eyes. So far I'm pretty impressed because it's not as like thick or like nasty feeling as I thought it would be. It's really reminding me of the BH Cosmetics one which is also really affordable and that one works just fine for me too. Now let's see if the foundation I got can cover everything and not move it around and it stays in place. Then we'll really know how the primer is and how the color corrector is. So for foundation and concealer I got two options. I really don't know if it's gonna be my correct shade. This is the first option called Sante Liquid Foundation. This one says it's a concealer and a foundation so it's two in one. I feel like for a dollar there really can't be great ingredients in it you know that kind of concerns me but then again you're saving money so would I just ignore that fact you know I don't know they also had a beauty sponge so I'm gonna use that to apply the foundation it looks exactly like a beauty blender it's like the same size as the black pro beauty blender it does feel a lot harder though when I'm squishing it so that concerns me because usually with affordable beauty sponges. If they're hard, they'll leave imprints, but we'll see. I'm gonna just use my cup of water that I'm done with because I'm too lazy to go to the sink and I just dampened it. There's a few options for foundations, but none of them really had a lot of shades. Definitely looks really, really pink. I'm more of a yellow undertone, so this is probably not gonna work for me, but just for the sake of the video, we're gonna test it out to see what the foundation is like. Holy, so I don't know if it's the primer underneath or the foundation, but it's so thick that it's like literally sticking to my skin when I'm trying to swipe it down. Like, do you see that? That's not sitting well over top of the primer so far. I'm literally knocking myself out because it's so hard and I totally called that. I put a lot of foundation on my face, but for some reason it's not really giving me much coverage, even though it feels very, very heavy on my face and like I have a lot of product on. Hmm. Feels really sticky and thick so far and I think it's a combination of that thick mattifying primer mixed with this really thick foundation. So far I hate this beauty sponge. It's very very hard so it's really difficult to blend this out. Okay. Is it soaking up all that product? Cause you saw how much product I had on my forehead and now it's just not even there. So putting on a second layer on my forehead to try and cover up that green. This smells actually really good. It smells like perfume. I swear I've used like half the bottle of foundation and I'm still going at it. It's just not spreading out. It's so thick that it's just kind of staying in the one spot I put it on my face. So it combines medium coverage, provides a fresh natural matte finish. Layers up, lasts long. It does say it's a matte finish, but I'm definitely not getting a matte finish right now. It still really had a difficult time covering up my 
acne even with the color corrector I think the color corrector honestly just kind of mixed in with the foundation and went away because you can see this is not color corrected at all there's no green it's just back to being my regular imperfection you can still see everything the redness is showing through so it's weird that it feels so full coverage and the foundation is so thick but it's not really covering anything so far not really a fan moving on to concealer so for concealer they have something called the concealer crayon it says it's smooth creamy coverage let's see how well this conceals that color corrector on her under eye and use their beauty sponge to try and blend it out even though I don't like it it's really yellow but I can't tell if that's because of the color corrector or because the shade I got is just really yellow but so far it does feel really creamy it's blending out really nicely honestly the concealer I'm not disappointed with at all I would say it's like medium coverage it has more of like a satin finish to it, it still had a hard time covering up that yellow color corrector we'd have to see how it holds up till the end of the video but so far not disappointed so now I'm gonna set my face using one of their face powders it looks so pretty it has like a rose imprint in it and I'm gonna use their face brush to apply it, it doesn't look like too much is coming off on the brush you know really get in there hopefully we can mattify my face a little bit because you guys know I like a matte finish hides the texture of my bad skin feels like nothing's really happening oh my god it smells like kids makeup like crayons kind of I don't know how to explain it I don't feel like there's any coverage to this it's just such a soft like dusting of a powder I like this brush that's a nice brush for a highlight to like just dust a highlighter on and use this to set my under eye this honestly is going on like a translucent powder which I'm surprised because it's got some color to it. We're done with that. Super lightweight, very translucent on my skin. It didn't really mattify too much. Honestly, let me swatch this. Like even, yeah, when I swatch it, barely anything comes off. I just felt like that really did nothing. Next up, I have an eyeshadow primer. Very impressed to see that they had one of these on the site. Oh no, this looks like it's been open already. There was no packaging on it and the other stuff had packaging. And I opened it and there's like crustiness all over. I don't think I wanna use this because if that's been used, the doe foot applicator looks like it has other product on it. This has definitely been used, you guys. I'm very concerned and a little grossed out. Anyways, I'm not gonna apply that on my eye because it really does look like it's been open and that's not very hygienic. But I'm gonna swatch some on my hand and kind of rub it in to see how it feels so it's got a little bit of color to it let's blend it in very creamy very lightweight almost feels kind of watery so once you rubbed it in it started getting a little bit more of a grip to it and I could see how that could be a primer it's got a little bit of tackiness to it it looks like it actually smoothed out a lot of my fine lines that's impressive but too bad we can't try it in my eyelids because gross so gross a lot of their brow products were sold out but I did manage to get this eyebrow pencil it has a little brush on the end of it Wow, a lot of pigment to it. I barely have to press down and the color is showing up. I like how it's very pointy because I can imitate little hairs. Really nice color too for my eyebrows. So I filled it in, then I'm gonna use the little brush on the end to try and blend it in a little bit, make sure there's no harsh lines. Brush is working just fine to blend everything in. So brows are done. I really like that brow product. It did a really good job. It was easy to use. I'd only be worried about it not lasting very long because it was super easy to blend out, which sometimes means that the product's not too strong and it might fade really quickly right now I'm really not liking the way my skin feels and how it looks that powder I think actually added to the luminosity of my skin because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it which I didn't realize when I was applying it so my forehead is like super shiny you can see here my pores look really really big not feeling the skin right now only thing I'm really liking so far is the brows because I didn't have an eyeshadow primer I'm just gonna add some leftover foundation that was on my brush to my eyes a little something something cover up those veins so we can move on to the eyeshadow moving on to eyeshadow I got two palettes here one with a little bit of color and then one with more neutral shade first I'm gonna go in with this shade right here to kind of mattify and highlight the brow bone which I like to do usually wow so far there is a lot of pigment to that eyeshadow I was honestly expecting that color not to show up at all and this is also a really nice paddle brush for that moving on to the crease color I'm using this light brown shade with our big old highlighting setting everything brush right here and I'm just gonna place that on my crease a little bit big for the job I want to do right now but I don't have a blending eye brush in my little set so we're gonna make do I'm actually getting some colors for a dollar like you have to keep in mind everything we're using is a dollar so far the crease color looks great I'm gonna use this dark brown color and create kind of a deep smoky eye I'm gonna apply this all over the lid a little bit of fallout there 
that's okay. It happens pretty much with every eyeshadow. I'm using their little pencil brush here to try and blend that harsh line out. It's becoming just a little bit patchy as I'm blending it out. The color isn't quite staying. Like it's it's moving around, around a little bit. So some areas are darker than others. All right, so put the dark color all over my lid. Not really liking too much how it turned out. It's a little bit patchy, but it's okay. We're gonna move on. I just don't think I would try doing like some crazy smoky eye like I'm doing right now, we're really putting it to the test. Cause it would definitely work for like an everyday eye look. You wouldn't have to work so hard to keep it from going patchy. Now let's try the colorful palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of this middle purple shade here. They have a really nice little detailing brush. I'm really hoping for a nice pop of color on my lower lash line here. Hopefully it will give us enough pigmentation for that. So I've really noticed with both of these eyeshadow palettes is you need to just layer it. Any sort of blending kind of just blends it away completely. But once once you just keep layering it, honestly, the pigmentation is impressive for $1. Watch my old testing out kids makeup video. Holy, those eyeshadows are bad. Patience is key with these shadows. I did grab an eyeliner from them and look how cute this package is. This is so adorable. It says it's just a waterproof fine eyeliner. It's so cute. So I really hope it works really well. Okay, so the applicator is like a really sharp, hard point. Wow, really, really jet black so far. Wow, I'm very impressed for a dollar. That wing is flawless. This is definitely Sylvia approved. Let me try my other eye. How is this only a dollar? It's got the cutest packaging. It works really well, very jet black. If it is waterproof and lasts a long time too, that's another bonus. This works so much better than some really high-end eyeliners that I've tried. Liner is on both eyes and I like it. This is a good liner. Moving on to mascara. This one's got pretty funky packaging as well. Ooh, that's promising. I like this wand. Feels like my lashes aren't going through the bristles, you know? For a dollar, maybe not bad, but it's taking a long time to apply. You just really have to give it a few layers. Pretty much did what a mascara is supposed to do. It's just not anything too crazy. I almost forgot, I have one last eye product. These are the D Wispy False Lashes. So I'm gonna apply those and then we can talk about how they look after. So both lashes are on and I was worried about that blunt cut, but I guess with this eye look, you can't really tell. They look okay, my lashes just look fuller and I like them. For a dollar, they're nice. And next up, I found a con contour kit on their site, so we're gonna try that out. It also came with a little picture to show you where to apply the contour and the highlight, so that's nice if you're new to contour and highlighting. It also came with a little brush, so we're gonna use that just to test out the product to the fullest. It's a nice little contour brush. We're just gonna go in with this middle shade right here. Oh, there's a lot of fallout. Wow, we actually have some pigment there. I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this more bronzy shade. I don't like this brush too much. It's very flimsy because the bristles are so long. I'm gonna switch over to one of the brushes from the set because it's kind of taking me a long time to do with the one that it came with. It applies even nicer with a bigger fluffy brush like this. It's a little bit easier to blend out. This side looks a little bit muddy. I think I used a little bit too much of that gray shade that was in the middle, but this side looks a lot nicer. I used more of the more bronzy shade. You can really see a huge difference. <laughs> I'm gonna just highlight my under eye with this banana kind of yellowy shade right here. And they definitely need to be highlighted. My under eye hollows are so prominent with this finish that the concealer gave us. So it definitely is helping. You can see the difference. The hollows under this eye are much worse. And this highlight powder is just saving the day because my under eyes needed help for sure. I just applied some of that powder on my nose and it's completely taken off some of that foundation. So this foundation is honestly terrible so far. I forgot to tell you guys that I did get glitter liner. It's called glitter liner, but it arrived and there's a giant sticker on the back of it that says not intended to be used around the eye area. So, um, come on, why didn't I read about that when I bought this? Cause it's called glitter liner. You would assume that it's for your eyes. So we're obviously not gonna end up using it. Anyways, next up is blush. I have this beautiful pink kind of shimmery blush to try out. I'm gonna go very lightly in case it has too much pigment. We don't want to look crazy. That's really nice. It's subtle, so it's easy to work with. It's kind of making the contour look a little bit better on this side too. <laughs> yeah, this blush is really nice. I approve of this blush for a dollar. And for highlight, the only thing that I could find that wasn't out of stock is this little cream stick here. So it's just having a little bit of a hard time blending out because I'm applying it on top of powder and it is a cream product. My bad, I just totally forgot that I had a cream highlight. Put on my cupid's bow. All right, so highlight is on. 
Whoa, $4? That actually gives you a blinding highlight. And last but not least is lips. I got two of their liquid lipsticks and one of their lipstick products. Let's swatch their lipstick. Creamy, it's a beautiful shade. It looks pretty hydrating. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. This is one of the liquid lipsticks I got. Ooh, that's really, really pretty and super opaque. Do you see that? The pigment is like right there. So this one's more of a metallic finish. But again, not streaky at all. They all impressed me with the swatches. I feel like a dollar liquid lipstick is almost impossible to find. This is with one coat. You can see that there's no streakiness. It applied really nicely. So for a dollar, what the heck? So the lipstick is on. I'm really impressed with how it applied and it is a nice color. I just absolutely hate it with this eye look. So I'm gonna take it off and try the lipstick on. Pretty shocked at how many of these products are not bad. All right, so going in with that lipstick now. This one doesn't smell as good as the liquid lipstick, but it's still performing fine. Takes a couple coats to really get a really nice opaque color. All right, so the lipstick is on. Hmm. Hmm. It was a nice formula that applied really smoothly. I needed a few more coats than I did with the liquid lipstick, but that's okay. It still applied nicely. I definitely don't like this color with my eye look, but we're gonna go with it. Those are basically all the products that I have to try out. All right, you guys, so that was using $1 makeup to do my entire face. I'll be honest, I don't like the way the makeup look turned out too much. Like the dark eyes and this reddish lip, not doing too much for me. But I was really surprised. A lot of the products were actually hits. I mean, they're not the best makeup in the world, but for a dollar, a lot of them really exceeded my expectations. I was expecting all of these to be complete garbage and I was wrong. I feel like a lot of this makeup would be really nice if you're just starting out in makeup, you wanna experiment, you wanna play with it, you don't wanna spend too much money. These products would be a good starting point for sure because they're so affordable. I think on my entire order, and I bought a lot, I spent $40 and $20 of that, more than $20 actually, it's like $24, was the brush set. So that's saying a lot, you can get a lot for your money and just play with it until you feel comfortable investing more money into your makeup. And as for the products that I really disliked, it would just have to be the foundation and the primer. They do not feel nice on my skin. They don't make my skin look good. So I definitely skip out on those. Even for a dollar, eh, not, not good. I don't like it. You can spend a few more dollars for a really good, affordable foundation at the drugstore. And I would probably just save up to get that because this is probably gonna make your skin look worse, to be honest. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, all you have to do is click the bubble of my face in the corner of the screen. And if you miss my latest upload, just click the box down below to watch it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.